Oh, you know it's time. Yeah, two of them. You already know. Welcome to Seth's Guide to Marimba. So, today, we're gonna be talking about the Marimba. Okay, we're gonna go over stuff like, what is the Marimba? Like, what does the marimba bring to the ensemble? What is its place in the pit? Like, how important is it? What, what's its role or whatever, right? Where is it normally located in the pit? Like, it, it's in the front middle. Yeah. And we're going to talk about center marimba. Like, what's the role of center marimba? And who's going to be put on center marimba, most likely? Oh, and also we're going to have to talk about um, what to expect from music for marimba, for marching band and or with percussion. Like qualities, like you know, vibes have a lot of chords because they have the same pedal, right? So what does marimba have? We'll talk about that. Okay first, so what is the marimba? Well a marimba is a mallet instrument. It's made of rosewood or synthetic wood. Our marimbas are made of synthetic wood. For marching band we want synthetic wood keys because when it's cold out, you know like there's like water, right? Moisture comes on to the So, moisture in the air, right? The air is gonna be like warmer, right? Let's just say the air is warmer outside when it's cold out, right? The air is warmer than the marimba. So when the water from the air touches the marimba, it's gonna freeze up, not freeze up, but like, you know, go from uh, um, air particle to liquid, right? So now there's water on the bars. With rosewood, the wood becomes damp and now like it makes a worse sound it like loses intonation and stuff and also like the age just like drops dramatically like you're killing the marimba if you do that it just dies so synthetic wood does not have that problem that's one of the main reasons why we have synthetic wood also rosewood's super expensive because like apparently the trees that the rosewood comes from are like dying out so uh yeah they're probably like a step away from being endangered or maybe not like endangered but like I forgot to say, rose, rosewood sounds like a lot better than synthetic wood. Synthetic wood sounds a lot worse. You know, it, come on, it's synthetic, you know? So marimba is like the largest mallet instrument, if you don't include the synthesizers. Because um, I mean, technically, like, they're a keyboard. They're the longest keyboards, technically. But this is the longest mallet instrument, right? Oh god, uh, I forgot to count. One, two, three, four, five. Our, our marimbas are like 5.3 octaves, I think. All the other schools are gonna have like 5.6 octave marimbas. It makes me sad, it's like I have to play Hardbroken Maya up an octave. Hold on. This is gonna suck. Okay, well that was relatively short. Yeah, I remember this is like a big, zi big xylophone, but not really. The types of mallets you can use on it. You can use yarn mallets, and you can actually use rubber mallets. Not like hard rubber mallets, but like soft rubber. They will not damage the marimba. But please like try to make sure that like it's soft rubber. Don't like accidentally pick up a hard rubber mallet and think it's soft rubber. That's just not gonna go. Okay, what does the marimba bring to the ensemble? I'm gonna talk about the pit first. First off, like it has like obviously like the widest range of octaves, right? Um, so that means like you can play a uh, bass part and like a high part at the same time, but also individually, while vibes can't really do that. Bells cannot definitely, and xylophones probably won't. So honestly, most of the like bass work or whatever will probably happen on the marimba. For I guess marching band purposes, it's the most versatile. In my opinion, the most versatile. Um, most versatile mat instrument is actually the vibraphone. You can do a lot with that. Like, you can use a bow, like a string bow, and like, you do that, you have the motor, you can know, half pedal, full pedal, no pedal. It's just, it's crazy. So, it's super versatile. But besides, like, the pedal and, like, the bowing, this is probably the most, so it's just range, and I'll get back to this. I'll get back to this now. Okay, so the thing is, like, Zydo goes like, ding, 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 marimba goes, like, 
Dun. It resonates a lot longer. The vibes can go like forever, right? But like, marimbas is soft in between, so like, you can play anything and it would sound not bad. It's not super tinny, so it, like, cause xylophone only has its place sometimes, like you can only do so much with the xylophone, cause it's so tinny, and you don't want, always want tinny. But marimba, it doesn't really have that problem as much, cause it's super resonant. It's like comparing timpani to snare drum, but like not nearly that bad. Maybe it is nearly that bad, whatever. Yeah, I mean, okay, so like, the marimba sound is so different, honestly. Like, bell sound, all the mountain instruments actually are super different sounding. Like, xylo and marimba, they sound different. Bells and marimba, they sound different, right? So like, marimba makes this like, cool sound, and most pit features, or many pit features, like, use the sound and style, or that's at least what I feel like. Yeah, that, that was weird, maybe cut that out. It just makes the marimba sound, and marimba sound is so different that it deserves its spot in this pit. Back to it being versatile, you can use, like, the most soft mallets and the most hard drawing mallets, like, you could think of. And you can use the rubber mallets, right? I'll go from softest, softest here, to loudest here. And then also, or hardest, sorry. And then also include some rubber. Okay. Ah! Those are all very different sounds, right? So in that sense, like, you can use a lot of different mallets, right? Same goes for, like, vibes and xylo. And bells, I guess. Bells also has this weird range, but, like, I feel like the softer mallets don't really work out that well on the bells. This softer mallet, any mallets work on this. Like, any hardness doesn't, like, really make the instrument, like, louder. Or, it does make it louder or softer. It just doesn't, like, kill the sound or whatever, like, the bells does. Like, if you try to use, like, a soft rubber mallet on the bells, it's not going to make any sound. The rimbo is pretty versatile, and like you can do it on the vibes too, you can use different hardnesses and stuff, but like I feel like you can hear it better on the marimba. Or at least I'm more experienced with hearing the difference, so. Maybe it is the same on the vibes and whatever, okay, I'm shutting up. Okay, how important is the marimba in a pit? I think it's like, you know, a staple of the pit, you know, it's the biggest, it's like, has the largest reputation. Cause like, you know, it ties with center marimba. And Central Marimba is like the best mallet player, so not really best mallet player, but like, I'll, I'll get to that. But like, if the leader uses one instrument like all the time, or leader, right, then that instrument is going to become a staple of the pit, right? So like, that happens to be Marimba. If vibes were like two octaves larger, then the, sure, I, I don't know why that'd be, why you'd want that, but I mean, I, I, I do, but yeah. So Marimba, Marimba is like a staple. Um, and also, like I said, it gives that marimba sound, but the gong and bass drum has such a bigger effect than a marimba. And you can do cool pit features and like marimba features on the marimba and stuff, but gong and bass drum, that's like the impact, right? Versus like just marimba. Yeah. Though it's versatility and range, right? I feel like that does give like more power, not power, but like you can do more with the pit now. Pit has more to work with, with this range and versatility. So I think that's good. Where is its position in the pit normally? Like, area-wise. It's dead center. Front and center, baby, let's go. Okay, because like, you know, center marimba, you have to be in the center. Okay, what is center marimba? Center marimba is the marimba in the center. I've used that joke way too many times. Okay, <laughs> center marimba is the marimba on the far right. That's not funny. Okay, for our purposes, we're gonna call them the best mallet player in the pit. So, what does Center Marimba do? They set the mallet heights. They have everyone look into Center Marimba to communicate and pulse. They copy, maybe not this, but like, I think that they would copy Center Marimba's pulsing technique or whatever, right? But certainly mallet heights. Center Marimba is in charge of tempo with the battery. Sure, each person can listen back individually, that's great, but, like, the main tempo should be with Center Marimba. Like I said before, in Seth's Guide to Pit Advanced General, we'd rather have a together pit than half the pit together and half the pit with the battery. Half and half does not sound good, we'd rather have everyone together. So how do we do that? We look into Center Marimba. We'd rather have everyone together, so how do we do that? We look into Center Marimba and match with him. 
Yeah, I already said it. Okay, Center Marimba does not mean pit leader. They do have very similar qualities, right? Like, they have... You need to be responsible. Like, they have to have, like, good knowledge about pit and experience with pit. Like, you know, they should be able to find the battery pretty well, right? And, like, know what's going on around them. And, like, know what's happening and who's playing a little bit off tempo or who's playing a little bit wrong notes, right? They should be able to tell that kind of stuff. And they should be able to, like, you know, be a good player in pit. They should know what's happening, be responsible enough to know their part, be consistent, right? They have the same qualities that would earn them their position, but pit leader is the leader, while center marimba is center <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm both pit leader and center marimba. Yeah. Pit leader does not have to be center marimba. My sophomore year, center marimba was not pit leader. Pit leader was marimba too. She didn't even play percussion. Now, I said Center Marimba doesn't have to be Pit Leader, but there's a good chance, right? Like, I just said how, like, the qualities are the same, or very similar, right? Like, yeah. I'm just gonna read them off real quick. Alright, um, Experience in Pit, or Slash Understands Pit, has abilities that the people in Pit will look up to and therefore respect, right? And has earned respect or recognition from the staff. Um, techniques and playing expectations for Marimba. Okay. So, some things that you probably will, should expect from a marimba part in the marching band. From my experiences, the vibes on chords, Zylo's doing their own thing. You're doing like, a lot of formatted stuff, honestly. Like, vibes do a lot of formatted stuff too, but more just like, chords. Or double verticals, right? You're doing like, um, you're not gonna be playing the same thing on each hand. You're not gonna be doing a lot of chords. Well, you can do chords. But, like, you're not going to be doing, like, a lot of chords like the vibes, honestly. Um, and, like, everyone will have a run. Bells should never have a run. Or, not never, but, like, for our level right now, no. Um, at some point, yes, there will be runs on bells or, like, just crazy fix, but, like, for right now, no. Most of the time, the runs will be on Roomba, Vibes, and Zyto. And Synth. So, like, honestly, you're gonna have to, like, be good at, um, you're gonna have to be good at using formats, okay? Like, not just, like, double verticals, we're all talking insides, outsides, well, and, like, just doing a bunch of random stuff. As we get better and better as a band, we're gonna have harder and harder music, and that means more fun, because now we get to do more crazy stuff and more show-offy stuff, and that's always good for marching band. The show music will be harder and harder. So like, even if I did play the entire show right now, it probably would look actually super easy to people in 20 years from now. Oh yeah, 20 years from now, it'd be like super easy. But like, 5 years from now, it'd be like, okay, that's like 80% of the stuff that you have to do. Yeah, you probably have to do like a lot of, like just... Yeah. Oh, and also, um, like this. Going all over the place. That's what like the professionals do. They, they go like all over the place, right? But I'm not sure how much we're gonna do that. But there's gonna be a lot of four mount stuff on the Roomba. Like you're either using four mounts or two mounts. It's gonna be like 50 50. Zyto, for right now, we only have like it's like 90 10. <laughs> and like you're gonna be using for the show a lot, like most, if not all of the range. Not all, but like for Orbit, I used almost all the entire range. I used like the low A to like the high A. I used that much space. So, uh, the color of ring or not, I actually didn't use that much, or not nearly as much, but, oh well. Like, you're gonna have a lot. You can't, you're not just gonna play from here to here, and that's it. Like, that's Zy, though. But back to the, you need to be good with four mouths. Like, individuals, like, you have to play fast. Like, when you're playing runs, um, primarily you're gonna be using the inners, obviously, right? But, like, if there's, like, a, some fast hit to, like, out, you're obviously gonna use, like, the outside. But, like, you're gonna have to get you good at Consistently using the inner mallets so you can do those amazing runs with four mallets uh, This is like just for all of pit. Don't ever assume you have the melody like this mostly goes for like Practicing and learning your part before the marching season which would be great if you did that by the way in orbit, right? I had this like part two. I totally thought you were the melody um, No, let me play real quick. It is from orbit. So it's like space theme It's from I forget what it's called. Uh, I'm a failure.
That was the melody, but that was just like no one else is playing. If no one else is playing, then yeah, you're probably the melody, right? If it's just like pit and battery, you're the melody. But they might be the ones that everyone's focusing on because they're battery, right? So, uh, when I was in, they handed out the music on like the last week of school. Intro, part one, part two, and part three. I learned outro, part one, and part two before that week ended. So I learned most of the show before the end of the previous school year. I was crazy. You don't have to do that. But like, I was crazy. Yeah, like I was out on the, in the cafeteria, right? No one's in there. It's kind of dark, right? There's no lights on. Uh, up with the moon bomb stage. Moon thing. It was like, sounded super cool. And I was like, yo, this is awesome. Come back two months later. And like, I, I know most of it. I'm like, yes. That does help doing that, by the way. <laughs> Maybe not like learning it in a week, but... Um, learning it before showing up to a marching band because then like you don't have to spend time wor like working on it especially if you're pit eater or pit eater or sensor marimba especially pit eater um you know like for this winter percussion season dude i i focus mostly on leaving or I, i've been trying to right um so i haven't had that much time to learn the part myself i think thankfully i got it down fast like surprisingly fast i don't even know how i got it down that fast but yeah, like, I, I didn't even, like, work on it that much. I'm in good effects, but okay. Yeah, so, uh, and that's about it. If you're a marimba player, you made it. Like, this is the best. Okay, no, that's not, okay. Real quick, um, best mallet player will be on the marimba, generally. Second best will be on Vibes 1, not marimba 2. Because... I thought it was, like, my sophomore year, I, I was, like, freaking out. I was like, why am I, like, ranked lower than a person who doesn't play percussion? Well, the thing is, they don't want to put, like, the two best map players on Marimba because... Like, they don't want to put the two best map players on Marimba and, like, three and four on Vibes. Three would probably actually go to Zyla, because Zyla parts are hard. Because then it's not balanced. Now I have a bad, a bad vibe section and a good marimba section. You'd rather have a, one good marimba player and one good vibes player, and then like okay on the other two, than overpowered on marimba and bad on vibes. I hope <laughs> I didn't say anything insulting. Yes, I mean like if you're on vibes one, you're in a good position, especially like the first two years. Don't assume that just because you're on vibes one means that you got two people ahead of you. No, you got one person ahead of you, and maybe the Zyla player. But, eh. The Zotto, yeah, Zotto does have hard parts. And it's like, the keys are smaller. You're expected to play faster, right? And also, it stands out more. So, like, there's no, you only need, like, one Zotto for marching band. Especially high school marching band. The drum core, maybe two. But that's, like, about it. It's so dingy and so, like, loud that you don't need more than one. Or more than two. So, uh, that's my guide to Marimba. I didn't even do that. I, yeah, I didn't even play it. Alright. this the day that I feel like I'm going to make this series public. Today is Wednesday, is, uh, February 19th. I think I'm going to make the series public today. If not today, tomorrow. But I'm, ho I'm hoping for today. It might be a little bit too late in the day for today. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what time I get home. I mean, I, I feel like I pretty much covered everything like, about Fang from Roomba. It's not like Roomba stands out for Fang or anything. Like, you don't have to, like, I don't have to explain, like, I said you have to be good with four mallets, and like, I already explained how to use four mallets in the general video, right? For vibes, I'm gonna have to point out how to use the pedal, right? And like, half pedaling, full pedaling, whatever. For bells, I'm probably have to, like, 
discuss how dampen your river, but that's about it. Like, Marimba doesn't really have anything besides, like, you know, you gotta beat up four mammoths, and yeah, big range. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's about it for me. Guess I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.